السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته طبعا دي المادة الثانية اللي احنا بناخدها مع بعض مادة الاورجنيزيشنال ثيوري برضو هيبقى نظام التعليم فيها هو نظام الهجين وهنتقابل اسبوع واسبوع الاخر هيبقى ان شاء الله اونلاين هنبدا <تصفيق> النهارده ان شاء الله بشابتر 1 فيه التعريفات الاساسيه وتعريف الماده اللي هناخدها ومكونات الماده عباره عن After studying this chapter, you should be able to explain why organizations exist and the purposes they serve, describe the relationship between organizational theory and organizational design and change, and the difference between the organizational structure and culture, understand how managers can utilize the principles of the organization theory to design and change their organizations, to increase the organizational effectiveness and finally identify the three ways in which managers assess and measure the organizational effectiveness. Most people have casual attitude toward the organizations because the organizations are intangible. Even though most people in the world today are born, work, and dine organizations, nobody has ever seen or touched the organization. What's the organization? Organization is a tool used by the people to coordinate their efforts to obtain something they desire or value. An organization is a deliberate arrangement of people to accomplish some specific purposes. There are three main characteristics that distinguish the organization. First, each organization has a distinct purpose. This purpose is expressed in terms of goals that the organization hopes to accomplish. Second, each organization is composed of people. One person working alone is not an organization, and it takes people to perform the work that's necessary for the organization to achieve its goals. Third, all organizations develop some deliberate structure so that their members can do their work. So how does an organization create value? The value creation process takes place in three stages. The inputs, the conversion, and the output stage. Each stage is affected by the environment in which the organization operates. The inputs of the value creation process include the raw materials, human resources, information and, man and knowledge, money and capital, customers. The conversion process may take the shape of machinery, computers, human skills and abilities. The outputs of the organization may be the goods, may be a goods, services, satisfied customers, satisfied shareholders, salaries. All these work within the environment, the company environment, which include the customers, the company customers, company suppliers, the population, health regulation, the competitors, the government. So why do organizations exist? When people working together, they usually can create more value than people working separately. The following figures summarize the five reasons for the existence of the organization. The use of the organization allow people jointly to increase the specialization and division of labor, use large scale technology, manage the external environment, economize the transaction costs, exert power and control, which increase the value that the organization can create. So what's the difference between traditional and modern organizations or contemporary organizations? The traditional organizations are stable, inflexible, 
job focused work is defined by job position individual oriented permanent jobs command oriented managers always make decisions rule oriented relatively homogeneous workforce work days are defined as nine to five hierarchy relationship work at organizational facility during the specific hours while the modern organizations or the contemporary organizations are dynamic flexible skills focused work is defined in terms of the tasks to be done team oriented temporary jobs involvement oriented employee participate in the decision making process customer oriented diverse workforce work days have no time boundaries lateral and network relationships work anywhere anytime so if we want to outline the relationship among the organization theory structure culture design and change the following figure will help us to understand the relationship between them the organization theory is the study of how the organizations function and how they affect and are affected by the environment in which they operate it's related to the study of the organizational structure which is the formal system of tasks and authority relationship that control how people coordinate their actions and use resources to achieve the organizational goals it's also related to the organizational culture which is the set of shared values and norms that control the organization members interaction with each other and with the suppliers customers and other people outside the organization the organization structure and the organizational culture affected by the process of design and change the process by which managers select and manage the aspects of the structure and culture so that an organization can control its activities necessary to achieve its goals